OpenAI just released their own web browser called Atlas and it's got ChatGPT built directly into it. I've been testing it for the past three days and there are some features in here that are genuinely impressive. Now perplexity already has comment out there so OpenAI is not first to the AI browser game but they've taken a different approach with Atlas and I wanted to show you exactly what it can do. So in this video I'm going to walk you through every major feature, show you how it actually works in real scenarios and give you my honest take on whether it's worth downloading. So before we begin, do me a favor, smash up the like button on this video and you can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So without any further ado, let's dive in. First, let me show you how you guys can quickly install it on your computer. Now, this Atlas browser from ChatGPT is right now only available for Mac users. So if you go here to this website, and I'm also going to put a link for it in the video description down below, by the way, you can also click here on download and you guys will get the DMG file. And that way you can pretty much install this browser on your computer. And this is their first page, which you will see on a new tab. And pretty much you can use it as you would any other browser or even as a chat GPT. So for example, you can easily use one of the presets here, for example, build a weekly meal plan and grocery list. Now let's go here to the first feature, which I think works super well. Here, for example, if you are on checkout and you want to give a discount code and you don't want to actually go to the website, give them your email and some ads would most likely also pop up. So here on the Atlas browser, you you guys can click here on ask chat GPT. And for example, here, I'm going to ask it to find some codes for this specific website and to apply them to the website as well. So for example, here, I'm going to ask it to find some discount codes for this website and apply them. So I'm gonna click here on arrow and let's see what will right now happen. So for example, we already have some of the codes which we can try. So for example, we can try welcome 20. We can click on apply. We can also try this one, mice 15, click on apply. You can see that of course, some of them don't work, but hopefully we will get a discount code which ChatGPT actually found. So pretty much here, we can also go with the specific region for example, because I'm in Slovenia, we can also try to, to find a different code which will work for the specific region. So here we can ask a follow-up. Yes, do exactly that. Find some codes for this specific region. I'm gonna click on send and let's see what will happen here. Of course, you can see here that this actually works as a chat GPT, but built directly into your browser. And unfortunately, this one still does not work. Now, I do think that chat GPT can be actually useful to take, for example, a website and uh, then apply some of the codes to it. And uh, that way you can also save some money. Let's go here to the feature number two, which I think does work super well with this brand new ChatGPT browser. For example, here I found this Airbnb in Iceland. And let's say if I want to find out if there are some of the hikes nearby this location. So here I'm gonna click on this Ask ChatGPT button and down below, I'm gonna ask it to if there are any hikes nearby this Airbnb. I'm gonna click on send here and let's just wait for a few seconds here. And we can see here that it actually found here hiking options available. There are great hiking opportunities close to the actual property. So pretty much yeah, you can see here that the ChatGPT Atlas also works super well if you have, for example, some of the websites open. And if you want to find some specific details, you can also do exactly that. And it's super helpful to have. Let's go here to the third really cool feature. And this is that it actually can recall the tabs you pretty much looked for. For example, here I have the prompt, find some of the Halloween decorations I was looking for previously. And we can click here on send and let's see here what we'll find. So we can see here that it started to search for actual browser memories. And here we can find pretty much all of the decorations I was actually looking for. And this is the exact website here and uh, the product. So yeah, pretty much very, very useful to have this inside the browser. Now this browser is actually built on top of the Chromium. So we can also try to install some of the extensions for the Chromium browser. So if I click here on plus, we can go to Chrome web store. We can go here to the extensions and we can find one really cool extension. For example, we can install this one right here, UV weather. So if I click here, we can click on 
add to Chrome, add extension, and let's see if it will install. Now we can see here that we have this installed and uh, let's go here to the next website here, click on done, click on done. But you can see here that it actually does not work properly. And one thing which I also found out that you can also not see any of the extensions you actually have installed on this browser. So this is something that OpenAI should actually add in a future. So full extension support for this browser, because this browser, as I said, is also based on Chromium, like many other browsers, for example, Comet from Perplexity, Chrome browser, and even Microsoft's Edge. Yeah, unfortunately, the extensions do not work here. So there's another really cool feature you can use also ChatGPT Atlas 4. For example, here I have this Nike shoes, which I'm actually looking to buy for running. And here I have this ones and also this ones right here, which I would like to compare. So for example, I'm going to click on plus here. I'm going to click on attach tab. So this tab just got selected. And I'm also going to copy this link and paste it inside this. And I'm going to ask it to compare these two in terms of comfort. I'm going to click on send and let's see what will happen here. So pretty much here you can see that it came up with the summary comparison and the best shoe for comfort, it actually got this one right here from Adidas. So yeah, pretty much you can also do exactly this. And I'm also going to follow up, can I find some other alternatives to these shoes from other brands? I'm gonna click on send and let's see what will happen here. So you can also see here that it actually also found plenty of good alternative shoes like Asics and uh, others like Brooks, New Balances as well. So pretty much you can see that you can also compare the products between the two using this browser and uh, also follow up with other questions as well. So I pretty much find this really, really helpful. Now, this browser is also quite customizable. So if you go here to the settings, you will find here this general tab. And pretty much here you will find this new option, which is classic tabs or this new one right here, which is scrolling tabs. So if you want to enable this, you can right now see that the plus button actually changed here to the left before it was here on the right. So if you click on plus here, the new tab will always be here on the left side and it works super, super well. And you can also see here that the names are really nicely displayed. Now compare this to the first option, which was actually classic tabs. You can also see here that the names are not anymore visible compared to this feature right here which are scrolling tabs. So pretty much you can also scroll and see the other tabs here and clearly see the title of the tab. Now the previous feature, which is turned on by default will actually hide the titles of the tab and also have this plus button on the right side. Now here down below, you can also change the accent color and also the theme light and dark. So pretty much this is the ChatGPT Atlas experience. I think it does work super, super well. Unfortunately, it didn't find any of the working codes for my Keychron mouse, which I want to buy, but hey, this is pretty much how it goes for now. And yeah, I do highly recommend that you guys try and use ChatGPT Atlas. Maybe in the first place, it will not replace your default browser, but nevertheless, I think it's definitely worth giving it a try. And uh, pretty much it's very similar to the comment from the perplexity AI and uh, I do quite like both of them. So yeah, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like the video as well and uh, I will see you all around in the next video.